Hello everyone. Uh, this is another clip uh, which is on the ECG and on method 2 of the calculation of the heart rate. Uh, as related to the method 1, method 3 and method 4, these are the best ways to know the heart rate of the patient while working in the emergency department or intensive care unit. And I uh, request you people to please subscribe the channel and uh, press the bell icon at the end of this video. So let's talk about it briefly. Method 2 of the calculation of the heart rate is uh, related with two important facts or the two important things. One is to know what is R wave. This is the positive deflection. This is the tallest positive deflection in the QRS complexes and re it represents the ventricular depolarization. And uh, second thing which we should know is the large boxes. In the last video, we have discussed that these large boxes, this is one large box. So one, two, three, four, and five. This picture contains five large boxes. And with this large box, it is separated from the rest of the large boxes with the help of this thick line. This black thick line is separating two large boxes, while the thin lines, they separate uh, small boxes. So the two most important things which we should remember when we are talking about the method 2 of the calculation of the heart rate is the R wave and the large uh, boxes on the ECG paper. Now how actually this method work which we call the method number 2. It is a two step method. In the step 1 what we do we count the number of large boxes between two consecutive R waves and let's say that number is X. Then in the step 2, we divide the three num 300. 300 is a fixed digit. We divide 300 by that number of the large boxes which we counted between the two consecutive R waves. That would be 300 by X. And this is how by using the method number 2, we can calculate the heart rate from the ECG paper. Now let, let's take this strip as an example. Now here we see uh, that the, this is an R wave and here is the next R wave which we are calling the consecutive R waves. So we have identified these two R waves and in between these two R waves there are one, two and three large boxes. Now these large boxes are separated from each other by these green lines which we call the thick lines. So the number of the large boxes between two R waves it's 3 and when we divide the heart rate, uh, when we divide the 300 fixed digit with the number of the large boxes between the two R waves then the answer will be 300 divided by 3 and it is 100 beats per minute. So using method 2 in this example of the ECG strip, the heart rate comes around 100 beats per minute. Now take another example. This is another uh, ECG strip example where you see these are the large boxes which are separated by the bold red lines. And the small boxes are separated by the thin uh, or fine uh, red lines. Now these are QRS complexes where you see the tallest positive deflection is known as the R wave. And if you count the number of the large boxes between these two R waves, this one and this one which we call the consecutive R wave, this is one large box and this is two large box. So the number of the large boxes between uh, two consecutive R waves is two. And our formula according to the method number two was that we are to divide 300 by that number of the large boxes between two R waves. Now if we divide 300 by 2, the heart rate is 150 beats per minute. So this is how by using the method number 2 on the ECG paper, we can calculate the heart rate. This is not that difficult to remember.